Have you ever wondered how your manifestation will come to pass? Well, this is exactly what I illustrated in form of a pyramid in this video to show you the stages that you will go through until you finally see your manifestation showing up. So with that, let's just dive right in. Now, the first stage is you shifting your state, right? This is the main teaching. This is the main principle that we first align us internally to the state of the wish fulfilled before anything in the outside world can confirm that new change. So it all starts at the most deepest level, which is a state shift, uh, like an inner reality shift, so to speak. And what happens is that our thoughts and self-talk will change. So your, your thoughts and your self-talk, if you become aware of that, that will also indicate on where you dwell within. So your self-talk is not only creative in a sense that, you know, what you say to yourself will manifest, but your self-talk also indicates, you know, how you see the world, how you see yourself and your thoughts as well. And of course, also your your basic mood, right? Your your your, your basic feeling in a sense. I'm, I'm not speaking really about emotions and euphoric feelings and all of that, but I mean, you know, what you feel is natural. What you feel is like, of, of course, that's how it is. And you um, naturally see the world from that. So that's like the first stage is really that we align us to that desired state. We could even put one stage before that, which is, you know, getting even clarity and, and you know, selecting the reality, selecting the state that is in existence already since creation is finished that we now want to select, not create. But it's not our job to create something. It's our job to become aware of something that already exists, aka we're tuning like into that um, and our imagination like functions like a, like a radio dial. We tune it so that it's, you know, on the on the song that we like to hear. So what that simply means is that we imagine the version of us that already has X, Y, and Z until it becomes natural for us with him, right? That's the first step, defining that and then shifting in that state where you are who you want to be, having what you want to have. That's like level, ground level. So what happens after that is that you will notice that your reactions to life will change. So once you dwell in a new state within, a new state for money, a new state for business success, a new state for having the relationship or being partnered or the new lifestyle um, or the health situation, right? Although the circumstances haven't caught up yet, the next thing that is basically going to change is your reactions, meaning you will have other reactions to circumstances, people, the environment, meaning you will evaluate the same circumstances differently than you did before. So maybe before, out of your old state, you, you, you know, you reacted a lot and you were triggered and you saw the circumstances like that. Now you aligned yourself within and you still see the same circumstances because, again, they are slow. The 3D world is slow. It doesn't change immediately. But since within you're already dwelling in a new state, you evaluate the same circumstances differently. So that's the second stage, in a sense, after we shifted our state, which is always required in the first step. So without a state shift, we could not even, you know, start this pyramid and, you know, get new circumstances. So it all starts with the state shift. Then we start to see, okay, my reactions to life change. Now I'm no longer bothered when I get a bill. Although I'm still not seeing the financial situation that I want, but I'm within knowing myself to be this uh, financially, you know, abundant, financially wealthy person. I changed my attitude towards money, as an example. So my reactions to the old circumstances already started to change because your reactions always come from your state, from where you dwell within. So step one, step two, step three is also that your own actions, your own impulses that you get, and also events that you encounter basically change and will be different. Because again, remember, your actions will come automatic based on the state that you're in. But your state, like the reality you internally live in, live in that carries all the means in itself. The thoughts, the, the reactions, the actions, the manifestations. So... The world starts to mirror back your new state, your new self-concept. So you might see some reflect, some first reflections, right? I see this oftentimes people, you know, start an inner, an inner move, an inner shift, and then they, uh, some days later, they see something that is, you know, in, in relation to their desire, but not their end result. And then they get tripped up on that because they say, oh, this happened, but it's not my final end. And then we always help them to, to understand that. That's okay. You know, let the world start to mirror back, but we only accept our ideal and we remain in the end state. But that's the third thing. Right? You will see that maybe you encounter someone that previously you wasn't even on your radar. Maybe you go somewhere where you never have been before. Right? If you want to meet a partner, then maybe you're you feel right now lack to to go to this crowded place and then you bump into someone. You know what I mean? Like this is simply what I mean here is that also the external world will uh, uh, change. 
And then the final stage, of course, very obviously, is the manifestation. What we can see so amazingly, so, so clearly in this illustration is that it starts here and then it goes up to the manifestation. What we see is, and this is also something I say uh, on my YouTube channel like a lot throughout my videos, is that the manifestation, right, the external confirmation, is a consequence if we go all the way back down to that inner state shift. So what that means is that we first changed our inner world and from within to without these changes came. So see, we start within, and this, let's just say this represents without, and this is like in, in, in the core of your being, that is what we changed. That is where we assumed a new mood. That is where we aligned with that reality. And then it was, in a sense, like brought out. It was expressed. It was, it was um, yeah, expressed is actually the, the best word, through us. And if we're needed along the way, of course, we will be moved. Like Neville said, right? If, if action is required from you, from other people, they will happen in a natural manner. And sometimes you do this very unknowingly because you're just acting from that end state that you entered, that you started to awake in yourself. So state shift, reactions to life change, what you do, actions change, what people do, the external event starts to change. And then, of course, eventually that new state is fully expressed in your world. Right? And that also means that then at this point, you will have new desires. You'll probably have the next level and then you climb, you start to climb the next manifestation pyramid, so to speak. Um, and that is really how your manifestation will come. That is the process. So it's not crazily spectacular but always remember don't start here right don't start and try to change the mirror don't try to start at doing new actions don't try to act as if and still be in the awareness of lack or in the awareness of not having it no go to the deepest level which is that identity shift which is really that reality shift that state shift and fully dwelling in the wish fulfilled state so that's a typical case of yeah a, a manifestation permanent of how a state is in a sense like step-by-step step expressed in your world. If you want to go deeper, always check out my free uh, masterclass. That's the second, sorry, that's the first link in the video description. It's a 30 minute, no hype, no fluff video that will also tell you like the, the core of Neville's teachings and how you can shift. And there's of course also the opportunity to work with me at the end. And if right now you already say that, okay, you want to internalize that, you want like even deeper explanations on that and how to apply that for your life and uh more step-by-step -step system and guidance, accountability, like-minded people, this whole atmosphere, right? An entire all-in-one solution um, so that you can really, you know, dive into Neville's teachings, understand them, apply them in a safe, non-judgmental environment with like-minded people, because I know that some people are alone on this manifestation journey, then I invite you to join my program. Right? I have a paid program that um, includes the system, the structure, the teachings, like, you know, how to apply them, support, one-on-one -on -one support, weekly calls. Um, it's, it's really great, you know, all-in-one space. Uh, if you want to be there, just check out the second link in the description. Uh, book a call with us. We are super friendly, um, you know, non-judgmental, won't push you into something, just figuring out if we match, if we wipe. And if yes, we tell you more about the program. If no, you're always, <laughs> always, of course, you know, free to make your own choices and just uh, continue on the YouTube channel and in the internet if you don't want that system right but this is how your manifestation will come to pass so focus on uh, the state first as you know it's about who are you right now what are you identified with right now that will determine how you react uh, the actions you take the events you encounter and eventually you know that that state you live in eventually when you persist like in that state when you really remain in that new inner reality in that new state has to be expressed because life the purpose of the mirror of life is to give you back who you are with him and reflect back what you made alive in yourself. So follow the simple pyramid, get clear on who you want to be, select that state, identify with that state, make it natural and let your world mold around that new state. Right? But the only thing that you can focus on or that now that you see this pyramid that you should focus on is this stage. Because once you started that and focus on always coming back here, then maybe you um, something happened and you fall out of that state, you worry again, and you come back to that state, you see that while you dwell in the new state, your outlook on life and how you view the world is all aligned with already having achieved the goal. And that's the thing that matters, right? To think from the end, like Neville always said. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I see you in the next one. Bye, guys.